Welcome all friends and family. This is the Play vs. Fall 2022 High School Championship featuring Rocket League. And you know it's about to get explosive. I'm joined here with my boy, Animal A here. How you doing, dog? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having <laughs> me out. Suplex, it's great to have you on the desk with me. Um, we've got a heck of a matchup here tonight, and I'm uh, I'm pretty excited to get this party started, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Creek Rocket League versus RMHS Lobos Varsity for the grand finals of our bracket today. This going to be something special. I'm uh, sure of it. I'm sure of it. They just finished, Creek Rocket League just finished a Game 7 huge overtime match, so their nerves are on edge. The adrenaline's pumping. Yeah, these teams are about to head down to the lobby, and let's get uh, let's get underway here with some action. Mm. Yeah, RMHS have been taking a bit of a break so for, for now, so they're not quite as warmed up as Greek, but we will see how it goes. All that matters is now is the adaptation. Could get crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the the rotations are going to be key. The passing plays will be key. A lot of a uh, lot of key plays coming into into play here, and how you played as a team is going to be the most important thing to see in the success. Right at the bat here, I want to see just how fast we can see which team gains complete boost control because if there's anything I know about Rocket League being a fighting game player, I go to the game. Here we're jumping in, live and on time. Just five seconds into the first round here. Let's take a peek at that first carry. A little bit over the net, center can set up, but not too much. College trying to take the ball over. Both teams are trying to fight for that initial control. The scrambling for now. Yeah, these teams are, uh, you know, trying to get a feel for each other. Um, you know, obviously the Creek RL just finished a, a late semi-series, um, so they're a little more warm. Uh, mm. RMHS, you know, had to come off and uh, wait, you know, and watch that semi-series. So they've got some more info to deal with. Ooh, that was mm. a tight play there. A uh, good shot on net, but uh, still still a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of warming up to do, getting a feel for each other. Obviously the ball's pretty low on the ground right now. Things aren't moving too heavily. Oh yeah, keep it simple now. No need to overcommit unless you're looking like <laughs> RMHS right now. Bring an early goal. But and a, a self bump there. That was uh, that was a little rough, unfortunately. <laughs> and a huge shave coming in there. Collie, our angel out here, guarding that net. Creek, staying alive, keeping it even. You get it back over though. Quick rotate from RMHS. But Collie, taking it out of the net, keeping their team safe. Yeah, it's good control, but loses it over to the RMHS <laughs> squad. Big demo coming in. Vigil Jasper. is going down for the count. Yeah, looking to get a center there. Couldn't quite get it. Ball's going to hit to the far corner on the sideboards there. He's going to try and set up a little bit of a center here. Gets it past one. Can't get the second. Does get a save out. Yeah, Vigil's defense just as strong right now. Both teams. Oh, Make big play. <laughs> <laughs> Huge shot on net there. Yeah, just Vigil again. That iron wall for RMHS. Absolutely. And a big Ooh. crossbar. <laughs> And another follow-up, but it's high and wide. They're going to get it off the backboard and be able to get it down. Creek is lucky that one came out in their favor. Line high. Got to set up. No dice, though. Knocks them out of the way real quick. But they're all scrambled. They're all falling. Guess we're trying to set up anything, but sierra has got it down pad. But you're running with it on the left side here. Into the air. aerithel has got a shot, but no dice. Just slightly off the mark. Creek's going to be able to pick it up and move it out. To the far end, looking to set something up off the backboard, but it's just there to pound it away to the half mark. See some a little bit of the 50-50 there. In the air right now, just <laughs> trading back and forth. Try to see if we can get air control. Yeah. Try to get a double touch off the backboard there. That was a great play, good setup there. Had the time to work with and the boost to work with, but not quite enough and not quite enough speed heading into it to get that pinch downwards. Mm. Ooh, Creek with a weird one off the sidewall. That flew towards the net. Thankfully, was just out of the way. Carrying it back over here. Creek RO. Vigil looking for another opportunity. Tried to follow up with a demo. Waiting for his chance. Vigil. They've got a shot. But right Ooh. to the roof. Big 50 50. Creek's got some room. Can he get the touch <gasps> off That's the backboard? Towards. But Vigil's got it, no problem. Yeah. A yeah, great heads-up play there by Vigil to be aware that that ball was going to come down in center and pick it up and take it to safety. Hmm. Ooh, Jasper down! Aerithel yeah. taking names. Jasper sent back to spawn. He's going to go again. Go next. Uh, GG. Yeah. About a minute 30 left in this game, and really, you know, we've seen some good openings, but that was a heck of a shot almost mm. on net there. Tried to go for the far corner there. 
not quite um, you know a goal hit on the scoreboard. Really tight series so far, and uh, you know this sets us up well for this best of seven in grand finals. Oh yeah, we've seen some really confident plays so far, and honestly, I'm really loving that for the pure fact that it's game one. Go for the big stuff. Yeah, Try absolutely. It out, see if you can hit it. If you can't, then fall back on some safer tactics. It's all good. It's over one. Can't get past the second though. Good follow up there by Creek. Creek's looking for a decent center ball, and it comes in, and what a big save in the slot Seer. there. Oh my goodness. Right on time. Yeah. Just 44 seconds left. Ooh, that Locking was a neat little soon. hop off the, off the back wall there to regain ball control. Creek's going to be able to force it towards the center. A bit of a double commit in the middle. Got to be careful of those, because that'll set you up for a, a mismatch in the slot. Mm. Over in the corner now. Aerithil just stalking this ball, waiting for a shot. In the corner, Call trying to get it out, trying to get anybody to take it away, but C are still keeping it towards blue side until we get a carry over from Zaray. Just against the goal line, C or gets it out, good defense here. 10 seconds left, just don't get shot on now, it's all it takes. Bring it to overtime, get that sudden death, and then we're really cooking. Yeah, yeah, you definitely don't want a zero second goal in this situation. Ball here touches down, and we head into OT in our first game. <laughs> That flew by so fast, too. It, I know it was five minutes, but it felt like two. Yeah, that was a, felt like a quick first game. A lot of volleys towards the net. You know, not a lot of, uh, not a lot of crazy opportunities, but uh, mm. as you see here, shots Ooh! on. Great Ooh! save there. Oh, my goodness. Creek had to be on point uh, for that save, thankfully. Mmm. Your teammates are saying really nice to call it right now. Now it's time to be awake. You can't fall asleep already in the first game. Let's show just how warmed up Creek is right now. Keeping it balanced Try to get now. it clear. The creek trying to just get anything. Anything to get them all started. They're all bunched up. Got an air yeah. ball going towards RMHS. RMHS had him pinned in their own zone there for a second there, but Creek was able to break out pretty effectively as center's coming in, but Creek does able is able to keep it wide. Mm. Up the half wall. Heading towards the net. Wants Which another touch. Net, Doesn't it get is. it. No boost to work with. Ooh, wild pinch coming in. That's going to be towards the net. You got to be careful about those. All high air. set up. Jasper looking for something, but again, just slightly off the mark. It's still warming up here. It's only game one. And just past the first minute of OT. Ooh. Big shot on net. Oh my goodness. RMHS wanted that one on net. It was just, just uh, saved by the Creek team. Kali is actually the iron wall of Creek right now. The dam holding back their goals. Yeah, seriously. Minute 30 into OT, and you know, so again, some great opportunities, but not seeing a lot of holes going. <gasps> that demo could be the opening. Oh, not quite. Looks like they had a lineup, but with a demo, all it hits with a one quick setup. But can't get it on time, can't get it on time. It's all good. Try again later. Vigil going for a carry here. Nice dunks it in from the top. There it and is. And there it is. Game one, baby. Look at the spin. Perfect flight. You saw everyone going for good flight scores. The entire game won, and there is the first one, and it's the sealer. It's all it takes. There you go. That's the first one, and uh, you know we'll see these. Uh, see if these teams can come back. Uh, looks like Creek is uh, gonna go for a little bit of a car change. That happens. Oh yeah, all good. I'd love good. to see those. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to mix it up a little bit. Keep it fresh. Absolutely. Yeah, off that first game, though, RMHS are looking pretty ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. Vigil's defense and offense is crazy. Yeah, the, yeah. Vigil's like defense was critical. Critical mm. to, uh, you know, just keeping that a 1-0 game, to be honest. Um, but, I, I mean, honestly, I, I wasn't disappointed with Creek's performance. I oh, felt, not at all. Yeah, I, I really felt they still had competitive advantage in quite a few different scenarios. Um... The thing for me, I think, that they need to improve on is they need to up their passing plays. And they need to mm. make sure that, you know, passes are making it across effectively, centers are coming across effectively. Um, so we'll we'll see as, you know, as we get into this next uh, next matchup here. But, um, you know, at this point, uh, it's up to Creek to see how they respond. Yeah, that teamwork is so integral when you have a power striker and defender like Vigil on the enemy team just shutting you down every now and then, right? Yeah, absolutely.
And it's not like Creek isn't falling behind too much either way. I mean, their defense is so, so solid with calling in the goal there. So mm -hmm. if they have a solid defense, hopefully they can actually get, take that, start passing it around, and get an actual power play forward. Absolutely. Here we go, called up the side here, right off the bat. But Vigil! <laughs> with an air block, real quick, just shooting across the entire map. Zaray in goal, ready for it. Easy peasy block. The stress could be high. This is the Grand Finals after all. Nothing's real easy at this point. Yeah, Grand Finals and you're already down one game on a really tight series and, you know, you would think Creek would have the advantage coming <gasps> off that game. Oh, a huge save and a goal line demo that might open up an opportunity there. Another demo coming in. That was a weird, weird bump there. Yeah, real trade. The goal line, but... Tensions are only high for so long. Seer's down for the count as well. The demos are getting real violent. Creek wants blood now. I mean, Rocket League is absolutely a uh, physical sport, so. <laughs> Into the air. Seer just doing a little backflip there. Oh, as no. <laughs> Barely keeps it in play. kali has got it carried over to the side now. Slightly off on the bump, though. Oh, that was a scary opportunity there, and I think Creek is going to want that one back, potentially. <laughs> <laughs> Any chance they have in that is what they're going to have to try and capitalize on. Their accuracy Absolutely. hasn't been 100% yet, but that's okay. Uh-oh! Whoa! I think that might have been a team bump. Yeah, Let's take a look at the replay there. here. Or is that a... No, over. I think that was calculated. Absolutely calculated oh! there. Wow! Yeah, huge great tackling play. Out of the way. Yeah, a huge tackle out of the way there and uh, opened up the net for a great opportunity. 1-0 Creek with 340 left. Stellar performance there. That's an aggression. They lose game one, they're angry now. They're ready to get in there. <laughs> yeah, Creek coming back with vengeance as they get another good shot on net. I'll get over towards Creek side now. Armite just wants to hit back. Carry right back over. Counter rotate. Bit quick now, Kali's forward. Nobody's in net for Creek. They're still carrying it over. I see Jasper running back real quick. Ooh, Jasper misses that clear. That's scary. Ooh, no, a double miss. And the net's wide Ooh, open. Vigil. Oh, no. Oh, unfortunate. A, a, a rare miss coming out of Creek, and then the rare last man miss in the back yeah. there. RMHS is able to tie it up 1 1 with three minutes left. Call it the golden defense, just one slip is all it takes to break that rhythm. Keep it together now, don't let yourself lose your flow. It's okay, everyone makes mistakes. Everybody has those days, let me tell you. Oh yeah. <laughs> and Creek looking to uh, get some movement back in, and that's Ooh. gonna be off the post. Off another move! Oh, oh yeah. my I thought goodness, that was I thought that was gonna go double post. Thank God yeah. they were able to clean it up. Creek <laughs> up 2 1 with 245 left, but look at the rebound what a double here, post. too. And it had, it had to be a follow up. Like, that would not have yeah. gone in had there not been the, uh, I believe that was. Uh, Jasper, I think? I think it was Jasper on the, yeah. on the line, back line there, correct? Jeez. That's what we're talking about, too. I mean, that's all it takes. Even simple pass plays like that, if it's off the, off the post, even. Yep. Huge from Vigil again, just real quick. Making those saves while also attacking at the same time. <laughs> and another coming insane in clutch save. Now. The RMHS really good in those reactionary plays. Yeah, they've been solid on the goal line so far. I mean, look, only two up or uh, down by one currently. They need to find an opportunity on the other end of the field because right now they are hemmed in in a serious way. And that Ooh. might have been another one had a uh, player not come up and uh, challenge that uh, challenge that ball on the goal line. That's another scary yeah. play. But That's Creek's not done nice yet, and they have boost advantage right now. As you can see, uh, Vigil's running a little low compared to his competitors currently. Mm. Yeah, it seems like Creek has... Trying to fight for that boost control. Both teams are trying to get anything to get themselves off the bar baseboard here. Aerith will full boost. Vigil carrying it over. Vigil's got time. He's got another. Oh, Ooh. we got bumped. Oh, the late bump. That was such a beautiful setup and opportunity. And I think he had enough speed to get a third touch in there, too, for that final opportunity. But mm. so close. So very close. Huge Great shot on net there. Ray. Creek had to be strong. Another shot coming in. Challenge Control coming up here. 50. Oh, Vigil might have an opportunity here if he can get 
Ball down, just off the crossbar. Mm. Jasper had to be great on the save there. Here comes Coley now, fighting for it with the team. But you're still dribbling it back. Jasper does a dunk on it. <laughs> Carrying it back over towards Crete side. In the air, towards the corner. Seer going for a flight, no dice. Gareth over close behind. Ball's juggling for quite some time now. Coley going back towards our MHS, but Vigil's ready. Back towards Crete side. Ooh, gets over for one. Break. Off the backboard, high and wide. Our MHS is going to go regroup, get some boost. Both RMHS and Creek missed that play. Looks like Creek's gonna get control out of this because I don't think RMHS has the boost to cover this. Jasper wanted to go up for that, was smart enough to come back down, hold a little bit extra boost and rotate out. Mm. Keep the pressure on, keep the boost up. Over the corner here, and teams are stacking here. Let's get it out of the corner. Cole's gonna right back in, going for a shot. Nothing though, Vigil, you can't get past him. Can't get past him, only 10 seconds left right now and RMHS is gonna have to answer in a hurry if they want to. Shake this up into an OT. Come on now. Pauly's down for the count. It's in the air, but it's on the ground. Kree takes game two just like that. Just like that. We have an even series. 1-1 one, one currently. Mm. Kree with a great performance. I think much more expected of what we were uh, you know, going to see for that uh, that game. And and honestly, you know, a big shout out to, uh, you know, RMHS Lobo, so yeah, I, th I think Vigil had a great performance there. I mean, look at the scoreline, 700 points oh, yeah. on there, you know, top of the pack in the lobby, so to speak. I mean, can't complain about that, to be honest. It's clear who to look at. You just see the amount of, like, just by the scoreline alone, you see the Vigil's doing work, but you can see in-game as well, like, they're just so active the entire time. 100%, yeah, and, mm. and honestly, the, the play throughout, you know, was strong. I think, again, a lot of individual efforts, right? I, I think yeah. what's going to be the difference in this series in general is going to be how they connect as a team, how those passes make it across, and the boost management as a team. You know, individual effort is important, and it's going to take an individual to score. But if you look at that, you know, second goal, I think that was like third, second opportunity or something like that. Mm. You know, that's, uh, that's really going to be a huge difference maker moving forward. Yeah, yeah. Not to mention, like, Vigil's adaptation to swap between offense and defense has been so incredibly fast i can't tell what they're playing i'm pretty sure they're flexing the entire time oh, a yeah. striker and then all of a sudden defender yeah def definitely impressive play and uh players are getting onto the pitch for the third game in this best of seven series if you're just tuning oh, yeah. in with us thank you for joining and uh let's get down to the action oh yeah i do want to shout out as well jasper looking really good in the team plays and i feel like Creek might need to start revolving around how Jasper's moving to really make those plays happen. If you want a game three under your belt, like you said, Jordan, he's got to start working together more and more. You're still carrying it over to the corner here. There's a Ray. Get ready for defense here. Holly just waiting for any opportunity if Lobos aren't giving it up. Keep it towards the air now. Let's get back towards Armitage's side. Earthel's got it. Holly can't keep up. Ray's got it in the air. Both teams just Ooh. trying to make sure. Once they can control this, yeah, but Sears down for the count all of a sudden. As a big demo in the back line, does get the respawn again. That respawn timer is very short, but sometimes all you need is a one second opening in that was enough. Mm. Break up one nothing in game three, just about a minute into play. You can see Seer just trying to get their bearings as they respawn there and just not fast enough. So Ray yeah, steals mean, it in. It's quite the conundrum on a respawn. You got two options. One, you run towards the net and go play defense. Two, mm. you run towards the corner and go pick up boost. If you don't do either, that's what happens in Greek. Up 1-0 currently. Oh yeah. A simple lesson learned, but many years of knowledge gained in just one interaction. Absolutely. Vigil down. Back soon, but what will Creek do with it? Oh, he's got the ball. Off Not the top. boost. Yeah, it's going to get corralled by RMHS. Vigil's going to have to be smart off the back wall here. Does have some boost to work with. Can get one more touch, probably. Vigil carrying the bar Ooh. all so far. That was a drop pass? That was... Fancy, I loved it. That was awesome. Mm. Looks like the skull coming out right now. 
Golly. Keep it simple now. But Vigil not making it too easy. Ooh, aiming for that crossbar. Does land a yeah. shot there. Not quite on net, though. It's going to be a little more precise than that. Demo in the back line has some room. He's going to try to pick up this ball back towards center. Again, no boost to work with on that respawn other than the 30 you spawn with, so that goes away in a hurry. Mm. The Creek doing a great job of keeping it on their side for offensive play, but right now we can't really seem to give much traction with actually getting the ball in the net. Visual alone right now is just holding it down. Oh. And Vigil alone oh, oh, the shot. back on the other side, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's what I'm saying oh. with that quick defense to offense swap. You see Vigil make the mess save of his life, and then all of a sudden, he's already making a goal. I, I agree, I think Vigil has probably <laughs> some of the, the best transitional play in this lobby currently. Look uh, at this! It's crazy, the, the way he's able to go from a save on the back line into a shot on the far side. Yeah. And that's the kind of play you're looking for. Shout out Vigil so far. Yeah. RMHS needs to find a goal here with just about two minutes left to play here in this third game. Greek RL, 1-0 currently. Jasper's up for it, gets one touch over top. Centered, team another calling. shot on. Oh, two post! Nice! Jasper, great finish, great patience. I think that is the, mm. the key right there. Look at this. Tough ball, waits a little bit, just that slight hop into the mm. boost, as opposed to trying to double jump into that, probably was the difference between a goal and that being put up high and wide. 100%. Double jump there, you overshoot it like crazy, probably possibly bounce it off the post again, and then it's out of the goal entirely. Yeah, really solid play. Like I'm saying, like we mentioned earlier, Jasper is going to be that keystone for really making these team plays on Creek's side. Yeah, absolutely. 2 nothing for Creek right now. Can RMHS respond? Slow dribbles now. Jasper again. Take Just as a note for those watching, uh, RMHS was top seeded in this bracket, so surprising to see them down currently. But I wonder if, again, after you know a series off, they're just you know cooled off a little bit, and then you know trying to find their footing underneath them or their you know rubber oh, yeah. underneath them on the tires, so to speak. <laughs> True. <laughs> I mean, hey, Creek just finished a really intense set, so if anything, they're definitely warmed up. I'm not too surprised to see them clapping back. Yeah, Creek's uh, semi-series went to Game Seven OT. I mean, that's yeah. that gets your adrenaline pumping no matter what <laughs> <laughs> what you're doing. Adrenaline in esports like this is definitely important, and they're Absolutely. also already very warmed up team-wise, right? Absolutely. I don't know how much, how long RMHS has been on the bench, but they're just well. getting started, clearly. <laughs> Long-range goal from Irithil. Here we go. Yeah, that was a bizarre ground pinch, to be honest, but like that late touch just to make sure and protect that ball going in. 48 mm. on the clock. Plenty, plenty of time for another opportunity here for our RMHS. I would love to see a tie game up, you know, force some of that momentum swing. Again, you know, once you go down 2-1 in any series, it's a little tough to rebound in, in a lot of ways. And in Rocket League especially, can be challenging to find your way back when you're down in the series. Hmm. I mean, this iron defense of Armageddon <laughs> has been so solid. Creek said, we're not done, though. We, we want a few more <laughs> opportunities. As, uh, I think Lou, that was Jasper going up. Just missed the opportunity there. Armageddon mm. just going to try to push this towards the slot. Does get cleared out wide. Another one off the backboard. So That's going to drop Holy. in the slot, but no one's there to follow up on it. Ten seconds left as we come down to the final moments. RMHS is going to have to maintain control here if they want another opportunity. Otherwise, that could be the series, nice. and that is it. Creek, Creek RL. Going up. Two to one. Too powerful right now. The adaptation has truly been impressive. A double car swap potentially from RMHS. Yes, potentially, yes. As uh, mm. you know, the players are going to go swap their cars and figure out what's going on and decide, you know, all right, what's the strategy here? You know, sometimes you just have to change it all up, right? Maybe oh, yeah. the maybe the Fennec's not working. Maybe you know you need to go play an Octane. Maybe you get crazy and go play yeah. Battle Bus. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't claim to know the strategy of cars. I know the hitboxes are most of the same so you mostly should, yeah. should never see that many uh you know real changes throughout a series but mm. sometimes it's it's honestly a little bit of a placebo effect on you know the decals you're rolling with which playing yeah. well what feels good because i you know I'll, I'll be honest when i'm in lobby sometimes a fennec feels great sometimes an octane feels great so it really just depends on what's going to make the biggest difference in your game who knows truly who like knows? keeping that style <laughs> fresh is uh there's a mental game to it 
you see it a lot of other games too. I mean, I'm, it's not the first time I've seen players just like bounce out to uh, the lobby screen or the character select screen and then pick a different palette or pick a different character. That's yeah. maybe the same character, but a slightly different style. And, you know, it comes down to just comfort, I think, in a lot of games like this. When it comes down to this te- like amount of tension in the grand finals, you're trying to make a comeback and your team is doing all they can, but you got to find that flow again. Take a break, try something new, and see if you can get back into it. But dang, this cinematic is so clean, I have to say, by the way. Like, <laughs> I love seeing this. It truly sets the stage. It really does set the stage, that's the point. Again, this is a grand finals best of seven, so we do have a um, mm. few games left. You know, if Creek uh, takes it away, they've they got to win two more to finish off this series. Hey. Yeah, best of seven it really is something unique to Rocket League as well, having a set run that long, because the games are so nicely concise. It's beautiful. Yeah, and, and the five minute clock sometimes feels really long. I mean, especially yeah. with the, the endless OT, um, for those of you not familiar in Rocket League, um, at the zero second mark, the game doesn't end until the ball touches the ground, which leaves you know wide opportunities for mm. players and teams to affect the outcome of a game. Um, but then on top of that, once you head into overtime, uh, you know, it's uh, it's first one to score ends the game. You know, sudden death OT uh, can be a real challenge to deal with. So. Let's see how these players come in. It looks like uh, you were just getting a quick water break, so we'll uh, we'll see as they come in here. Take our time here. No rush. Yeah, I mean, look, to, again, down 2-1 in the series, it's it's time to make some decisions and make some changes as players mm. join back in, and we're going to jump into it just momentarily. Yeah, it's been a good one. It's been a real good one. So far as well, like, seeing this kind of bracket develop and... When you have games as tight as the one that we're already having right now and the ones that Creek just had, it builds a sense of history for these players. And I'm really hoping that the teams are really just having a good time, not only just playing, but meeting each other and being able to really just say, like, you know what, I hope we play again because these games, you're not going to get them anywhere else. Tournaments like That's this, true. you need to really value the interactions you have and the people you meet because... They might be the people you fight in the future. They might be the people who are on your team in the future. Who knows? Who knows? That is very true, very true. As we jump into game number four, Vigil wants an early opportunity. Doesn't quite get it. Good now. Polly taking it over towards RMHS. Ozzy right back, though. Nobody's in goal, but Jasper is ready for it. Aerithil trying to sneak it in, but not today. Jasper with a couple really important 50-50s there. Really set the stage and gave an opportunity for his team to come back and collect some boost. Looking good now. Oof, multi-commit early ball. in the slot. Vigil got bumped there, but might have some room. Creek's going to pick it up. Tries to get a center ball here. It is going to land. Can't get a shot off. Very close opportunity, though. It seems Vigil did, did actually go for a swap here. The car styles, how will they pan out? See her trying to get a carry over to Creek. Mm. Still nothing. I think I'm seeing Creek. They were a bit more scrambled in the earlier games. They would each have their own role and they would spread out a little bit more, but they're playing together much more effectively yes. at this point. The warm up for those first three games is definitely showing already. Yeah, you're starting to see a little more team play out of RMHS. I think, uh, you know, last goal there in the last game really, uh, really showcased that opportunity. Mm. Three minutes, 30 seconds left in this game, though, however. Creek looking to get it down to the far end. Does get a Drop shot on Kenny. Get the second rage. touch. Woo! Off the heel. You're going to want to, uh, you know, put out that fire and flame because, oh my goodness, what a double touch off the backboard there from the back wheels. Ooh, mm. That was pretty. That was pretty. Vigil trying everything to try and save that, but it's just not going to be enough when you got a shot that clean. And already trying to get it over towards Creek's side. Jasper getting it over, back towards our MHS, setting up anything possible, trying to increase that lead. Keep the sniff on now though, Aerithil, off the wall, Kali, carrying, carrying, but Vigil's right there, always in forever. <laughs> Big demos on the back line there, Jasper had to be smart on that play to make sure it got out wide. Mm. 
And I have an opportunity to get it picked up again. Creek does get it cleared up to the half line, but does pass over a control over to Vigil, which in this game, that's not what you want. <laughs> <laughs> that's for carrying it over, but Vigil again. Vigil's like playing goalie on the center line right now. It's I know, it's complete this. air control. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a dangerous touch. That's going to drop in front unless they're able to clear it out. Thankfully, RMHS is able to get it out wide. Creek wants it centerized again. Gonna follow up here. Ooh, bit of a double, triple commit almost on the corner there. Gotta communicate with your teammates there. Again, those odd man situations and rushes is really what's gonna turn this game on its head. Jasper going to the skies now. Trying to fight Vigil, but go for a big whiff instead. Vigil carrying it over. McCall has got your back. No problem, it's all good. But it's team all good. is four. So, yeah, yeah. So that's <laughs> why it's a team game, baby. <laughs> Uh, purposeful whiff, yep. Yeah, that's that's. I meant to do that. Absolutely. <laughs> the best distraction you've ever seen in your life. Absolutely. Ooh, double touch coming Vigil! in. And Vigil. They just can't stop him. It just buries it. Look at this double touch. Comes over top of everyone. It's able to get the ground reset. Get another hop in, and then comes underneath. Beautiful read off that crossbar bounce. One one and RMHS back in it. Now we got a real fight on our hands. One forty seven on the clock. This next goal could be a decider if the defense is strong enough. Given how tight this series has been and these games have been already, I, I would agree too. Uh, it's going to be a very tight series. And <laughs> what? <laughs> the pass? Zaray oh. just across <laughs> the field and Kali was so ready. <laughs> he was up before the ball came off that yeah. back wall. Oh my the comms were pristine. And that's why I say team game in Rocket League, it's always, always the difference maker. You have mm. to have individual skill, and you wouldn't be in this situation if you didn't have individual skill. However, mm. when you play as a team and you can make effective passes like that, you know, cross seam, cross arena, all the way to, <laughs> to the goal. I mean, how do you even stop that? Like, that's I'm soul you genuinely, like, <laughs> that pure synergy of a team. Absolutely. That's what really comes in, like, comes in and shines because. If you don't have that actual, like, teamwork is one thing, communication is another, but true synergy with somebody you yeah. enjoy playing with is another thing entirely. And, and team games really show you that. Last minute of play here, RMHS wants to get another one on the scoreline here so they can push this to an overtime. Visual. Creek is not done at this point. Oh, Jasper ready on it right there. Vigil ready for a shot! Zaray reacts just on time. Creek is getting a little callous in the back line here. It's going to cost them because Vigil's waiting in the slot. No. And there is a tie game. 2-2, 34 left on the clock. Seer and Aerithold is cracking the ball, and Vigil is sitting there like, you know what, it's all right. I got Vigil's go. dangerous in the slot. Get it's it, not a player, me. yeah. Someone someone go play the demo. That's that's the rules. Go, <laughs> yeah. go hit that. <laughs> Can't leave him hit, standing there in the slot. It's gonna, Do not let Vigil it's be play. a problem. <laughs> Alice back towards Creek side. RMHS seemingly already setting up for a goal here. Jasper not letting too much happen yet. Holly as well on the case. Ooh. <laughs> it's tight. But That's a big save in, in the slot. Ten seconds left. Let's see if we're going to head to an OT or if someone's going to be able to score a late one. One last setup here. Going back towards Creek side, and it's overtime. OT, baby. Here RMHS really wants a goal here so they can tie up the series, and I'm sure Creek wants to end this guy early. Go up 3-1 to one and put RMH on the back foot on tournament point. <laughs> Keep it simple now. Here with Bill. Waiting for the chance to get it out of there. Here we go. Creek says, no, we're not done yet. <laughs> RMHS is doing everything to try and get it just away from their goal, at least. But Creek is sticking to him like glue. Here we go now, the setup is coming in. Above the net, Jasper's got it away. That's a great clear, great vigilant clear. Make sure it gets it super wide. Sent it to Vigil, but you know, it do be like that sometimes. Jasper's playing Pong at this point. Both teams <laughs> bouncing it back and forth. Yeah. Just 3D Pong, guys. It's, you know, don't ever think. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy, it's simple. Yeah. <laughs> 50 seconds into OT and not seeing a clear advantage at this point. You know, some good opportunities from both sides, but I think Vigil's got something to say about that as he wants this ball to drop down in front. It does, but he does not commit to it and wants to go pick up that boost and start the creek. You get another opportunity. 
Creek wants to get a clearance Jasper. here. Got an opening here, trying to play around Aerith, but Aerith with a patience does not, not overcommit into a dodge. That was or very dodge. smart defensive play. Those can get scary when someone's coming in with a little bit of control and a little bit of boost. Mm. You're just worried it's going to flip up over you in an awkward way and you're not going to be able to commit to it well. Dangerous. Seer trying to go for a block, but no dice. Carrying it right through RMHS in danger. Guess has got a shot, but no dice. Here we're trying to carry it back over now. Vigil on the ready, but a good clear from Kali keeps them safe. Yeah, the back line uh, got demoed, so we're going to get a respawn there, but that's okay. Go regroup, go pick up some boost. It's kind of on net. Irithal, a great shot over towards Creek, but Kali and Jasper both getting up there. We're going to knock the sky high. Two minutes into overtime here, and again. Not a clear advantage, not a clear reality as to who's going to take this one. It's going to be a saucy play in the slot or a big dunk coming in. Good attempt there, but not quite. All towards the corner now. Rebound. Jasper trying to set up for the team. Zaray not able to get much, though, as Irithil. Steering it towards the wall. Off back towards Creek side now. Kali. Don't whiff it now, Seer. Not able to get too much, though. It's all good. Vigil and see the desire to just land a shot right now. Waiting for and, any chance. And about at this mark, the 230, 240 mark, this is where the fatigue really sets in in a match. Mm. This is where you start to feel the hands cramp up a little bit. You're trying to like loosen the shoulders a little bit. Try not to be tightened up. You gotta unclench the jaw, relax mm. a little bit, make those team plays. Remember to breathe. Remember to breathe. It goes a <laughs> way let me tell you a little bit of oxygen goes a long way oh yeah yeah when you're playing a game like this and the average time is gonna be five minutes it becomes all of a sudden just a test of attention span and really and true mental stamina to keep that focus keep that ability stay sharp for three minutes four minutes five minutes extra and we'll see how long of an ot we get here but Creek is looking for an opportunity. Bigness on the goal line there. That's going to pop up. Someone up in the air to capture it. Ooh, just wide. Can't get a secondary touch. Jasper wanted that on net. Didn't quite get it there. One bad mistake could be all it takes here. Creek is circling like sharks. Jasper's up a little bit of boost. Doesn't have much to work with for a second touch. Going to have to rely on his teammates to come in. Bit of an opening in the slot. <gasps> Coley! What for it all? Wanted it. That's a great a demo. demo. Great demo to open it up. Uh oh. You're doing the attack. We're doing the defense power here. Taking out Jasper. Zeray is also down. The demos are going crazy. Oh, that was a double demo there on the back line. That's the scariest thing that can happen as a player. Yeah. You're at the also down. It's just getting absolutely brutal out here. The scrap parts flying everywhere. <laughs> That's what happens when you're ten minutes into the game. You just want to hit things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're. A Reaching five minutes soon here. We gotta get a goal. The players are gonna start burning out. Oh no! Off the side, almost. <laughs> that was terrifying. Our MHS was just hairs away from closing out this game, and now we gotta start going back towards middle line again, towards our MHS. Seer with the save here, midfield. Keep that control up. Ready to play as a team now. I know it's been a long match already, but. Keep it together. Kali going down. See her oh. with a shot. See her with a goal. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a series on our hands. Two. Two. Woo. Woo. And it had to break eventually, but long, long OT of four minutes and 52 seconds. That was brutal. That was so brutal. I can only imagine the relief Armage is feeling right now after working that hard. Six shots from Vigil and four saves. I, God, I, Vigil is unstoppable like that. Was, <laughs> that was a performance and a half. I mean, when you're putting up just as much shots as the whole other team is putting up. Oh yeah. You're clearly sending a message, so to speak. Yeah, and also when you're getting the majority of, well, not, no, sorry, not majority, all of the saves for your team and also a bunch of shots for your team. I mean, <laughs> Yeah, no. Everybody no get kidding. the backpack. We're going for a ride. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look, tied up series. It's a uh, two-two now. So really, you know, this comes down to now what is uh, best of uh, best of three technically. First yeah. to two, I guess. Yeah. So it's uh, 
Again, we'll see, we'll see how this shakes out, but I'd like that performance from RMHS to not crack under pressure and really just, you know, fight through some of the adversity that they were seeing there. Oh, yeah. No, all it takes is that real, real test of endurance, and we can see that RMHS is ready to go the distance. I mean, hey, for all we know, Crete could be getting burnt out already. They just finished a huge set. Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't put it past him. What's that power to power on? Refresh yourself, keep yourself focused, drink some water, breathe, maybe go for a stretch even, get that blood pumping. Yeah, I'm sure the teams are having a little game. water. <laughs> yeah, true. Y'all at home, stay hydrated now. I know it's hard to remember while we're watching some heat, such heated Rocket League, but... Whew. Yeah, hydration check, please, everyone in chat. Can you make sure you <laughs> have some water and are, uh, you know, feeling good as uh, we head into this... Uh, Game number five now. Yeah. Uh, I'm correct. Yes, yes, it is game number five. <laughs> and teams are just getting down on the field here. Last players joining, and uh, let's get mm. underway. Here we go once again. Kickoff begins. Vigil going for it right away. Nothing too explosive off the bat, though. Probably looking for any kind of control to stop the ball from underneath as the rig goes for a flight. Vigil now against the wall. Sears both trying to carry it over to Crete's side. But Zarea's ready for it. Oh, Crete with the <gasps> big play. Oh, what a pass. That was beautiful. Oh, and the double. Oh, he wanted the follow. Oh, my that goodness. Nightmare was... for MHS. That was some beautiful play there, genuinely. Mm. Sears once again. Gonna run it over while they're down a stock. Down a player. <laughs> Getting terms mixed up here. <laughs> it's kind of a fighting game. <laughs> <laughs> I was, different kind though. Different kind of fight. I'm not gonna lie, I had an argument with one dude one year <laughs> about how they were trying to convince me that Rocket League was just like a fighting game. It was the most tilting argument I've ever had in my life. I, <laughs> understandable, understandable. I, I think I like the comparison to traditional sports more because while we are playing, oh, you know, similar to soccer sports, this has a lot of nuance that you know hockey has, especially with the rotations um, when you're in the offensive zone. Entirely. It's very similar to hockey in the way that the forwards rotate each other and cover the back line as you know plays go towards the net. It's a very mm. important thing to take into account there. And then again, I think that you know the demolitions are a little closer to hockey hitting than they are in soccer. Definitely, <laughs> the amount of aggression you can have absolutely is definitely much more lenient oh, towards no. hockey. Oh no, Creek wanted that one on net. Did they get the second shot. Oh my goodness! Oh, two oh, nail biters. <laughs> Back to back. Saray carrying it over now. What? Uh, I just, whoa, I didn't even see anybody hit it. Uh, Zaray put it all the way down. Waited. 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 Touch. Just a self pass? Just a God self pass. Dang. That's that's beautiful play. Beautiful play all around. A one person army right now from Krieg. Zaray stepping up to the plate. I can put spotlight on themselves. Sometimes you just gotta take uh, you know the game into your own hands, so to speak, and put yourselves up. Oh yeah. One nothing with uh, just about three minutes left is a missed demo attempt there. Almost uh, almost cost our MHS. Is uh, Creek's gonna be have to be smart on their goal line. <laughs> it's only one person's back, and that's a dangerous play. Missed mm. that touch. Couldn't tell if that was on purpose slightly. Yeah, Creek could be seeing Vidal's performance and thinking, you know what? I can do that. I want to do, do that now. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and back down to RMHS's end is. Ithril's going to have to pick it up. Towards the slot, gets a shot on net, and Jasper is able to punish the mistake there. Weird bounce towards the center slot here. Look at this. Yeah, just rough bounce off the mm. sidewall. Jasper read it well, had the opportunity. And, oh, you know, rough see. thing was, you know, they had two, two demon back, but you're not mm. spread out on the goal line. You just can't cover as much service area, and Jasper is very smart with their placement. Yeah, you can see Vigil try to go in for the goal there, but actually bounced back trying to read a different angle, but it's not the right call in the moment. It's okay. To react. RMHS is not done yet, but Creek is up 2-0 with just about the halfway mark of this game passing by. And Zaray wants another self-pass. Decides to leave it for a teammate. Can't quite put it on net. Jasper just a little hard on the nose there. Taking it over towards the center line now. Jasper flying over. Trying to keep control for Creek. And Vigil going down. Midair demo. Creek maybe opening up a chance. But nothing too much. 
the defense is too solid when they're all grouped up. Yeah, I think that's one of the big key difference makers is, you know, the defensive team plays versus the, you know, defensive individual efforts. Yeah, Kree's gonna try and work at spreading out RMHS here. The moment he can get at least Vigil or Irithyll or any player isolated, it's the moment you can actually go for a shot. Yeah. V Vigil's been great on the goal line, but I feel like they need to get Vigil a little farther up and give him some opportunities to put a shot on net, because then you see opportunities like this happen as Vigil tried to put that mm. high corner just a little wide. It's working out well for MHS. The defense is solid, but again, yeah, like you mentioned, gotta try and give Vigil or anybody really a chance at just running up and getting these shots. Because right now, Kreek is not letting anything happen. No, not, not much is moving and just a minute Ooh, left and... Oh. Kali! One shot on the goal saved by Kali, but see you're ready for the follow-up. No yes, you're on the rebound here, and again, I think, you know, once you get into these kind of plays, the scrambly stuff, it's not much you can do, right? You're just trying to keep mm. it out of your own net, you put it right under another guy's nose, he's ready for it. That's okay. 2-1, minute left. If Creek can hold things off here, they're going to be on tournament point for the grand finals in this best of seven. But if uh, RMHS can tie it up, as they're really trying to, <laughs> we will uh, we'll see them uh, head towards tournament point as just coming down to the 30 second mark left in this game. Oh, towards a corner now. I'm just trying to set up anything, but again, Creek just interfering with their devious plans. Creek is definitely playing cautious now. They don't want to give up any weak opportunities or give Vigil a, an opening that he can slot something in, as we've seen that happen already today. Keep it simple now. Creek just trying to get any kind of control over the ball as the timer counts down five seconds left, and all of a sudden, I wish has air control. Keep it in there. <gasps> Irithyll tried for it, but there's just no opening. Creek taking game five as they're, like you mentioned, just one away from taking the whole bracket. Creek tournament point. Mm. Really, really solid adaptations. Great warm up play. And just overall, the team synergy we're seeing from Creek is only evolving before our eyes. Great. Yeah. To see. Creek really might take it to this number one seed in uh, RMHS. I mean, look, you, a tournament point, it, it sets a different expectation, different reality heading into this game. RMHS is playing for their lives on this game, whereas Creek is like, ah, oh, we've got one in the bag just in case, you know? <laughs> Something yeah. goes chaotic. We've, we've got an option just in a pinch. So mm. we'll, we'll see how this one plays out. But really, I, I've been loving the performance out of Creek so far. I think it's been very strong. I think it's been, you know, apropos given you know, their performance, you know, in that, uh, in the, uh, semis as well. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I think really at this point, it's just down to, uh, Creek to secure the bag if they, uh, they're, uh, going that route. <laughs> yeah. I also do want to shout out as well, Seer has been really, really solid on the offense and defense for MHS. That true joint to allow Vigil and Irithyll to try and bounce back and forth between offense and defense. I've seen Seer always in the right place. Accuracy is really solid. Game plus is really solid. And when it comes yeah. to a team like this, when you have such power strikers running forward, it's important to have someone you can rely on. And you can see Seer really just step out of the plate. Game number six as we head down to the field. Can Creek take it away or is RMHS going to push this to a game seven? Let's find out. So we're just a few seconds in and Creek already has a good opportunity on net. Probably going to drop back. Jasper's going to bury that inside. Oof. Big demo on the, the back, back line. Made some room. And, and there it is! Textbook play. Textbook play. Truly. Textbook demo right there. Opened yeah. up some opportunity. Self pass no for calling. And you gotta be deeper in the net if you wanna save those plays. And mm. that is not the opening RMHS wanted. Yeah, just 18, 17 seconds in. And Creek is walking away with the goal. Now it's up to you, RMHS. Can you clap back just in time? Yeah, they're not done yet as Vigil wants one on net. Big 50-50 on the sidewall there. I think Vigil's going to win it. He's going to get a touch in. Puts it on Ooh. net. Good save out there. Seer so wanted that play, but Holy! that's going to cost him. Where was that from? 
the back line. Yeah, popping it up. It's already ready for it. Just a slight whiff on RMHS, on RMHS's side, and now you're down two with 424 two. left. A lot of time to work with, but when you're down that much, it just hurts the soul. Vigil, a down again, not letting them play. Creek's going for the emotional damage at this point. <laughs> Creek says, this is our game, this is our series. We're up to nothing with just about four minutes left in the game. And RMHS Lobos respond. Hmm. Vigil going for a run here. Over the net, Ooh. setting it up for Seer, but I just can't get there fast enough. As Creek is there just even sooner on the defense. That was the right idea though. I, I don't I don't dislike that play. Mm. I think you just need to be careful of that back pass that it doesn't bite you too uh too dangerously. But you're carrying it over over the ray, but Jasper, ready for it. Erythol again. A little bit deep in the offensive line right now as it comes back towards our Mitch's side. Zaray popping it up. Can't work with too much at this point. We'll seem just scrambling for any kind of control. We fight for boost. Plenty of boost on Zaray's side though. Also set up for a goal. Gonna dive in towards the corner. Erythol carrying. But Kali on the defense once again. You know. It might be the wall that stops Armored Chest from getting any more goals this match. Three minutes left, flank. Creek up 2 nothing on tournament point. Armored Chest looking for an opening, but they haven't been able to get out of their own zone. They've been hemmed in for the last 30 seconds or so. <gasps> Creek okay, with a okay. dangerous play in front. Yeah, I was worried about Creek or about Ray. Falling and stolen from Irithal there. As Ray was smart enough to stay back, wait, be patient. Jasper wants a touch there, couldn't quite get it. Oh, big 50 in the slot. That's going to pinch out wide and. It's a race to the ball on the half wall. Yeah, great defense from Irithal there. Vigil again. Trying to get control, but Zeray running with it. That's up the team. But see her again in the right place at the right time, shutting down that setup. Making it a bit of a scramble, and Kali just can't get a clean shot. Another shot on. Vigil there on the back line as he's been. See her with a shot, but Kali again with the accuracy on defense. That was a great tip over top to uh, open up a little playing room, and that's going to be Ooh, in the center. Set up. Ooh, Ooh, wanted to bury it. The GOAT! <laughs> you know Sears there on time. On time, every time. <laughs> <laughs> Creek RL. Minute 45 left. Vigil's heading down to the other end, wants a tip over top. Can't quite yeah. get it. Great bump there to clear Vigil off the ball, as this might open up Creek Ooh, for another opportunity. Oh. Three! Nothing. Creek RL. Brutality. A minute 35 left on the clock, and man, I, I, I hate to say it, but this is not good for the RMHS squad. No, not one bit. I'd be just as scared as anybody else would seeing that T-Rex come out of the goal. I'm <laughs> telling you, yo. 3-0 with one minute, one minute 35 left. RMHS has got to be sweating at this point. See if doing really an amazing job. XD, you know? <laughs> Keeping them in the game, but at this point, it's just shattering. It's all falling apart. 4-0 before we can even finish talking. And that was just some miscom. Someone going to get boost when they shouldn't have been. Someone's going to be on that back line. And 4-0 mm. with a minute 30 left. It's not impossible, but it is challenging. And you there's play no other way perfectly. to slay it other than challenging. <laughs> mm. We're getting to near task level play to make this comeback. Yeah, at this point in time... Seer's done all they can to keep our matches in the game. At this point, it's up to Aerithal and Vigil to be those real power players and make those goals happen. But the time we have left, it's going to be about a goal every 10 seconds. Again, crazier things have happened in Rocket League, but that one was not it. And now Creek is back in the attacking end and time is ticking away. 53 seconds left. The timer of doom. Slowly sets in, RMHS. You've shown extreme power. Incredible plays. But is this comeback at all possible? Please prove me wrong. <laughs> 30 seconds left, and as the lights fade on RMHS's tournament run, Creek making sure they stay solid, not giving them any more opportunities, and just keeping RMHS hemmed into their own zone. 
Mm. But that's going to be a shot on net, and that might be one. Hey! Okay, well, the door's not closed at this point. 18 seconds is about the minimum you need for three goals. If you mm. get a kickoff goal immediately, that means this face-off is probably the yes. tell on Creek's tournament life and yeah, RMHS's RMHS, tournament yeah. life. And unfortunately, I don't believe that's going to be enough as we're down into the final 10 seconds. We're about to see the most legendary air juggles of all time. <laughs> RMHS wanted one more, but that is going to be it. Creek yeah. RL are your fall play versus high school champions. Congratulations. Congratulations. Truly, it's been a great series. Like, seeing Creek awaken their team play like that was truly incredible. RMHS, you had the power. You had the teamwork. You had the coordination. You had the ball control as well. Their technical skill was incredible. But when it comes down to it, when Creek is actually capitalizing properly on all their specializations, and they're warming up more and more and more, that engine's revving. Can't stop them. Can't stop them. They tore right through. And once again, they're their champions for today. Creek coming off a big semifinals that went all the way to game seven overtime, set the precedent with a great team pay, amazing passing, and mm. just an amazing performance overall. Congratulations, Creek RL, on your win. Go celebrate, go enjoy. Um, big thank you to all the teams that participated today. Again, RMHS, you know, putting on a huge show as well. You know, well done. Crossbar Club, uh, Valor RL, uh, TVHS Eagles, Castle View Warriors, and Ponderosa, thank you for participating. You know, thank you for playing, and a huge thank you from the Play VS team for enjoying the stream. All of you in chat, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I've been Animal. Thank you so much for uh, <laughs> joining us, and my man Suplex, once you sign it off, right here, yo. Truly, it's been a pleasure. I love watching some good old-fashioned Rocket League. I know it's one of your favorite games of all time, Animals. So <laughs> happy to do this with you, my man. And I mean, hey, no, great play, great teams, great moments, and good times, yo. Absolutely. We're going to be back a little later on with some League of Legends action as those teams are going to get set up in a kickoff bracket. We'll be back for the grand finals. So tune in later on around uh, 6 p.m. PST, 7 p.m. local time. Uh, so mm. stay tuned for that go live notification. Hit the follow on the Play Versus channel if you want to be notified when we're live. And we'll see you all later on. Take care, yo.